Gosh, um, I can see them. They are some massive gnashes, aren't they, right now? You don't very often see teeth on a rabbit that look like they should be on a rhinoceros. You've got very delicate bone structure around the outside and those, those teeth go in just as far as they come out. Rabbits are very, very tricky. They can die very quickly under an anaesthetic. Their heart and their lungs are under a lot of pressure. It's been a day full of drama and it's not over yet. Scott's now on the road following up a call from a popular city farm called Mudshoot, right in the middle of East London. Mudshoot Farm is such an important part of the East End. To have free admission to places like this in London is really quite phenomenal. And the amount that the kids get out of this is brilliant, particularly as they live very urban lives. Scott's patient today is one of Mudshoot's smallest residents. Right, so Nick, I think Papa's down this end. That's right, he's in with the other rabbits at the moment. Okay, um, how's he getting on? Well, he's okay, but in himself, but he does have this recurrent problem with his teeth, which keep regrowing like crazy. Gosh, um, I can see them. They are some massive gnashes, aren't they, right now? That's right, and that's only about two weeks' growth since no. they were last clipped, yeah. Wow. So, uh, okay, well, let's have a closer look, shall we? So when I saw Papa, I was pretty shocked. You don't very often see teeth on a rabbit that look like they should be on a rhinoceros. Okay, so now getting hold of him may not be entirely yes, straightforward. Yes, that's, that's always the reason that rabbit owners are late to the vet. <laughs> I'm <laughs> yeah, trying well, to catch him. I'm, I'm happy to leave it to the expert. Oh, here we go. Good boy. Hello, mate. That's a professional at work. Here we go. Wow. They are impressive, aren't they? They're almost like tusks. It's not a great look on him, is it? Let's be honest. And of course, it's going to interfere with his eating, isn't it? They were pretty substantial and exceptionally abnormal. You certainly want to be careful to take your eye out. Papa, he wasn't a planned acquisition. He came to us when he was dumped in a hedge, basically, along with another rabbit. So they've been living with us ever since. And we use both of them in our animal handling, which is when we get kids visiting and they like to actually get up close and stroke a rabbit. But we get people kind of calling the RSPCA saying, hey, you've got a rabbit that's in a terrible state. And we have to explain, no, we haven't. We're trying to manage it, but there is this chronic problem. So the problem he's got is a problem called malocclusion. As you know, rabbits' teeth continue to grow their entire life. And in this instance, they're not rubbing against each other, so they're growing and growing to the point where they're forming almost jail bars. He can't eat when they're that long. Um, he's picking up dirt and muck off the floor when he is trying to eat. And of course, that's going to mean eventually that he's going to lose weight and have health issues. So it is something that we do need to intervene on. This guy, you're trimming his teeth about every two weeks. Yep. And you've got to think, over the life of a rabbit that's probably six, eight years, that's a lot of trimming. Yeah. And I think actually the best option for him is to try and get those removed. The ones we're going to remove are incisors. They're actually the catching the nibbling teeth. They're really not important from the point of view of chewing teeth, which are the molars at the back. Mm. So all we're going to do is remove the jail bars and get that guy eating again. Gotta be brave there, mate. You gotta get a beautiful smile. This is certainly not beautiful right now, is it? <laughs> no. If we, if we were unkind, we could post some pretty, pretty freaky pictures of him. Yes. It's absolutely fantastic news if um, Scott can help us out with this, because as I say, we've got the, the financial problem of it to the vet every two weeks kind of adds up. And it, the welfare issue that, it, you know, poor Papa is suffering from these huge and weird teeth. Okay, so. So we should uh, pop him in there ready for a trip to yeah. the clinic. There you go, buddy. Good boy. So now it's time for Papa and me to take the long journey back to the clinic. But as it's pretty late in the day, I think what's best is he comes home with me. And I know three very excited little people that are going to wake up to a lovely bunny in the morning. Hey, Ems. Hi. So. What have we got? There's a little chat from Mud Shoots. Papa, the rabbit. Hello. Have a look at the gnashes on him. Wowzers, not seen any like that. Hello. It would seem that just taking a rabbit's teeth out shouldn't be much of a problem, but actually it's quite a big job. You've got very delicate bone structure around the outside and those, those teeth go in just as far as they come out. Alrighty, so anesthetic time. Rabbits are very, very tricky. They can die very quickly under an anesthetic. Their heart and their lungs are under a lot of pressure. He's starting to go. He's yeah. starting to get there. 
they actually use a huge amount of anaesthetic. Sometimes the volume that you give a small animal like Papa, you give to a large dog. So it does make it quite difficult and also quite dangerous. This is no straightforward dental procedure, and this is no average bunny. Papa's one of the stars at Mudshoot Farm, and a lot of people are worrying about him today. Mm, look, at, look at that. I mean, look at the size of those. Let's try and get his temperature and stuff well, nice in the meanwhile. What we might actually do is why don't we give a little bit of gas? Nathan's assisting with the procedure. Oxygen. But he's having some trouble taking Papa's temperature. <laughs> We found it. Nathan was having a bit of issue there finding the rabbit's bomb hole. <laughs> He'd be worrying if you found it really quickly. <laughs> <laughs> I know, blush. Excellent. Oh, uh, luminous. See, I can't say rude things. I can't say rude things. You know, the tensions are so high and Scott does get quite stressed out. So if we do try and, you know, <laughs> relax everyone a little bit and mention anything slightly naughty, it does get a bit funny and Scott just blushes and goes luminous red. We find it quite funny. But the laughs are over when Scott starts having problems intubating Papa. Yeah, I think what I'm going to have to do is burr these down first because they're just getting right in my way. I just can't push yeah, things I down far enough. So after numerous attempts, I literally cannot see in order to place the tube. So I need to pull out the big guns. I grab out the power tool. I help to grind down those teeth just so I can see where I need to go, which is down his airway. Right, let's try tubing again. So, um, Nathan, rabbit all good? Yeah, breathing nicely. Nice. Now I can see what I'm doing. Hey. Yeah, 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 yeah. Good stuff. Lovely. Nice. Okay, well done, everyone. Oxygen's on. When you're approaching a dental like Papa's, you do need to mind the resource of patients because he had very strange curved roots. Uh, and so although we have to put a bit of force there, at the same time we have to be so, so gentle because there's so many important structures all around those teeth. So, yeah, it made me sweat a bit. Okay. Those bad boys. That's one. Three more to go. You've seen how long the roots are. as It's not something that is uh, lightly undertaken. Number three. These teeth are actually the more dangerous to remove because they go right up into his nasal passages. Okay, look. No wonder that was difficult to come out and see the curve on that. It's like a letter C. It's exceptionally delicate. I mean, I've got a very sharp instrument here and um, his brain is only there. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, it's... Um, it's all that some... nerve-wracking at this yeah. moment in time, isn't it? Yeah, I think to say the least. Yes. That's it. <laughs> Done. I can breathe again now. Thank you, Ducky. I think a few sutures, and then we'll let this boy wake up. So to get all those teeth finally out of Papa's mouth is a massive relief. We're done. Okay. Great. Well done, team. Good Let's job. Wake this boy up. Come then, buddy. Ooh, he's off. He look handsome now without those big things in his face. It does. Really beautiful. Mm -hmm. It is very important that we now get Papa eating as soon as possible. Rabbits have such a high metabolic rate that if they don't keep the food processing, they can get what's called gut stasis. Their guts actually stop working and we need to avoid that. You can quite figure out how to do this without your teeth. Mm -hmm. I'm hoping that he's going to take some of the food that I've put down for him. Otherwise, if he doesn't eat anything now, then he will unfortunately have to be force-fed and get a syringe in his mouth. Hey, Papa. What are you doing? Next day, student vet nurse Jess is trying to tempt Papa to eat after his drastic dental work. Papa's beginning to get used to eating without his incisors. We're giving him softer food so that he doesn't have to chew it, unlike his hay and stuff. But he still is eating it, and he's eating a lot of coriander now, which is a great sign that he is doing a lot better. Good boy, Papa. The bunny is now ready to go home and see his friends at Mudshoot Farm. And here's Jess Hello, with the little guy. Hello, Hello mate. Here we go. Let's wow. go back. Yeah, back to Farmanick. Here wow. we go. Wow, let's have a look at you. What a difference. 
I think he's looking handsome, normal and healthy. So it's great to have him back looking so good. That's right. No longer looks like a wild boar. Yeah, let's get you wild. That must have been quite a business getting those out. It was actually, it was really pretty difficult. I mean, you can see this is an example of the one that we took from the bottom jaw. So of course the best thing was to have them out and he's eating well, he's bright, uh, and I think it's a happy future for Papa. Great stuff. I was kind of expecting uh, big teeth, but nothing quite as uh, amazing as that. They look like they come out of a warthog or a walrus or something. He's already been missed in the, in the couple of days he's been here because um, he's one of the most popular rabbits with the kids. Kind of, as you can see, incredibly friendly and relaxed despite all the things he's been through, so. Well, I can believe that. He was exceptionally popular with my kids. Hi there, mate. Farewell. Nick, I don't know if you uh, have any use for teeth. Yeah, I'm sure the kids are going to be very interested to see those. Thank you. Pleasure. I'll put him back in his box. Back off to the farm. Yeah. All right. Sure is. All the best, Nick. Great. Take care. Thanks, Bye. Scott. See Cheers. You. See you later. Bye. Bye. -bye. Hi, I'm Dr. Danny. If you enjoyed this video, then please remember to subscribe to the Bondi Vet YouTube channel. Click on the screen now to continue watching more great content. If you enjoyed this video, then please remember to subscribe to the Bondi Vet YouTube channel. Click on the screen now to continue watching more great content.